All right, Virgo, getting ready to do your reading. This is an energy update for Virgo. Boy, did it want me to do it. Jesus Christ. Holy cow. I got me a ladybug on me here. I'll put her on the table for you. Look at there. Look at there. It's, it's science hour here at Steve's Love Tarot. Got me a little ladybug. Here, we'll put her up to the camera. You see that there? There we go. All right. I don't know what to do with it. I don't know where I'm going to put it. I need, But I can't shuffle the deck until I get rid of this ladybug here. Get off on my desk. Get off on my desk. Get, get, wow, this thing's quick. You're quick. All right. There we go. I got it. All right. Now she's going to roam around my desk. All right. Man, that's an omen. I told you. This reading wanted to get done. I'm bringing wildlife in from outdoors. I got, I got late now. I got a ladybug walking across my desk, about to cross over. I got a Smurf on my desk. She's on his foot. There we go. All right, this is an energies update. This is not wildlife. This is not. Uh, I'm not at, at Attenborough or whatever here. This is a uh, love reading for the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or for anyone. As I said in the recent Steve's mailbag. For anyone who this title resonates with but I'm pulling for the sign of Virgo here all right here we go it's a general reading it may or may not resonate with you but I promise you if you're here not only did you get to see the ladybug but you, you you're probably supposed to be here there's something I'm gonna say that's gonna help you out here today so here we go and I know that's true because before I cut the deck I got the world at the bottom here something's changing you know Something's changing. I know in your mid-month, your person was riddled with fear. I remember that. Well, let's give the deck a final shuffle. Let's see where we go, Virgo. All right. Oh, there we go. We got our shuffle. Oh, my God. I shit you not. I cut the deck. Before I cut the deck, we had the world. I cut the deck. I gave it a final shuffle, and we got the world at the bottom. We had to come around about four, five, six times for that to happen unbelievable a ladybug and the world twice okay we all need to get our shirts i'm with steve's love tarot and i'm here for my lottery ticket all right right here the world at the bottom of the deck for the overall energy uh this is powerful uh this is uh the most powerful card in a major arcana there's something shifting here within your either within your person or on your person's side i can't tell yet all right, I'm just checking on my lady, but all right, she's all right. Okay, uh, right here uh, is the energy around your connection or your person. Depends how the card falls. This is how they feel. This is how they feel about you specifically in their emotions. This right here is the hidden energies, and this right here is the uh, uh, final outcome. I'll clarify everything. I'll throw some universe cards over the top. If I think we need to extend this one because there's more we need to know, well, you already know. You got like you got like a little time machine because there'll be a link in the description of this video. And if you want that, if you want the extended, it's there for you. I don't, I don't pitch them, but I do some voodoo in there. I mean, usually pull four, five, six readings. In fact, right here, here we go. The energy around your connection or your person. What's this world about? <laughs> yeah, it's deep in thought. Six of cups. This is. Uh, you, first of all, this is a connection you have with a person. This, is, this falling in the energy of the connection tells me you've met many lifetimes before. You two, you, you two always cross paths. Always. And you're always important to each other. The Six of Cups means that. It's fond memories. It's not, it's not, it's not the devil. It's not bad memories. Oh, this is a beautiful connection. I said that to you before, and I mean it. I know a lot of you don't think that because your person's sitting over on the other side, quiet, silent Bob and all that, or Jane. All right. Anyway, uh, as your person's concerned, they're thinking about you. They're thinking a lot about what they did, how things played out, how things went down. They're just thinking, thinking, thinking. Right here, how they feel in their emotions. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, six. Uh, another six. The six of wands in their emotions right now. Let me straighten these cards out. Six of Wands in their emotions right now. Wow. Holy shit. Uh, in their emotions right now, they, they want nothing more than to come together with you. Uh, they, I'm also getting they want your attention. And they're trying to figure out how to get it. That's part of what they're thinking about over here. Sputterfly represents transformation. They, they, they want to make things right. There's no doubt about that. Whatever right is to you. Uh, it's a general reading, so you got to apply it to your story. 
Uh, we pull from the collective energy. Your story is an offshoot off of that. So I can't give you a thousand scenarios here. We don't have time. Uh, let's keep pulling here. There's a lot to know here. Right here, how do they feel in their, uh, toward you, Virgo? <laughs> yeah, I told you this was powerful. Ten of Pentacles. Uh, pull that down a little bit. Ten of Pentacles is how they feel about you. Yeah, long-term white picket fence. Uh, stability. They see a lot of stability. They got a lot of respect for you. I can tell you that. Uh, this person, this whole row right here tells me this is... Um, if we put these three cards together, they say, I fucked up. That's what they say. All three, they're thinking back to all the things that they did and said, didn't say, didn't do. Now, this is the anchor card. The anchor of it all is them wanting their, your attention or to have some sort of victory with you and transform this thing, make things right. Because they see you as long term. Now, I don't know why they didn't see you as that before. I don't know. We got to find out. What's in the hidden energies? These two cards are read together. These two are read together. This is standalone for those of you that are new. Holy shit. Justice coming out here. Why? Oh, no. Judgment. Take two. Take two. Judgment coming out here. Wow. That's better than justice, I think, right here. Because what you don't see for a lot of you, you think this thing is dead. They think it's dead on some level that's why they're thinking so hard that's why they're trying to get your attention or will be if they haven't already this year's got some communication what you don't see is this phoenix rising from the ashes this thing's coming back it's coming back and, and judgment off of the six of cups on the soulmate side just verifies what i said this is something that goes way back many lifetimes if you were helping this person in a stagecoach outside henry the eighth's castle I'm serious. You were doing that. I don't have that. I mean, I'm not, not literally. Don't, I'm not some kook. I'd need a CAT scan if I was telling you that kind of stuff. But I'm just using that as an example. This goes way back with judgment here. Off of the Six of Cups. So what's final outcome? High Priestess. Shh. Quiet. Don't tell Virgo. Your person is deep in their intuition. That, that ties with this and this. Um, they're thinking long and hard about this and they're feeling it, but they're still quiet. Still quiet. Shh, don't tell Virgo. Let's find out why. Right here. Six of Cups. What's this about? Give me some clarifiers. Let's clarify this sucker. Let's see where we go. All right. All right. <laughs> Power. All your people, everybody's soulmate right now. Everybody. Your soulmates, for the most part. Your, your, your soulmates are in a tower. If you didn't watch my latest Steve's mailbag where I talked about fate, uh, free will, and why your soulmates are in a tower, uh, I suggest you watch that. It's there in the playlist for Steve's mailbag, or you can find it in the, I just let it out the other day. It's there. You should watch it. Your soulmates in a tower. They done drove their car into a building off the road where there was no place to turn. They're thinking back. This verifies what I said. They're thinking back right now. They're thinking about you. And they're thinking back to all the stuff they screwed up. How they screwed this whole thing up to where they turned that car where there wasn't a road to turn on and hit the curb, broke their suspension and slammed into the side of a brick wall. Why is this tower here? Ten of swords. What I tell you, ten swords in the back of a bison on this deck. Right there. The funny part about this is it only takes one of those swords to kill that bison. There's ten in this sucker. Some tell you what. Ten of Swords clarifying the tower tells me very clearly, again, something I already said with the Judgment card. Uh, you both think this thing is dead, but your person is scared. They're frightened that it's dead. You, I suspect, you, you don't want it to be dead, or you wouldn't be here, but you, you'll be fine. You, you can move on. Your person can't. Your person's not going to be able to let this go, which is probably why this High Priestess is here. What's this Six of Wands? Shuffle the deck for the Six of Wands. Give me some clarifiers on that Six of Wands. All right. Give me some clarifiers on that Six of Wands. Seven of Cups. Yep. Yeah, they want victory with you. 
They want your attention. They're trying to work out a way to do it. That's part of what they're thinking about. Rooted in fear that this is over, that it's too late, that they screwed this whole thing up. Uh, they are. And they're worried also that you might have some other choices. Why is this Seven of Cups here? Yeah, the Empress. Because they want to build with you. They want abundance. But they're quiet. Look, I got two moons here. I got a moon, a moon, and I got a moon here on the High Priestess. Silent Bob or Silent Jane. Either that's what got them into this mess in the first place, and they're realizing that. Oh, they're realizing that. They are. They are. Shh, don't tell Virgo. What's this? Ten this is a beautiful card to fall here. They have mad respect for you. A lot of love. Mad respect. What's this Ten of Pentacles? Why is this Ten of Pentacles here? Let's take a look. Why is this Ten of Pentacles here? Yeah, King, King of Pentacles. Yeah, they said mad respect for you. This is how they feel about you. Male or female, they see you as the catch. You're awesome. You are... Long, I mean, it's clarifying. The, t the King of Pentacles is clarifying the Ten of Pentacles. I mean, for God freaking sake. I don't even have to say anymore. This person just screwed up. That's why this Ten of Swords is clarifying the Tower. They're, they're going crazy right now in thought. And that's why I'm doing this, this energy update. I was outside. I had a ladybug on me when I came in, for God's sake. I was gardening. I gotta go do a Virgo reading. I brought wildlife in. I came in so fast. Lucky I don't have a badger with me. Right. Yeah. <laughs> How they feel about you? Queen of Cups. This is love that's given, not like that wishy-washy King of Cups. Queen of Cups is love that's given. They want to bring this love to you. It's the most love one human being can feel for another. And it's clarifying the King of Pentacles, which is the most respect someone can have for another. This is love and respect, and they see long term for you, and they're freaking out, this Ten of Swords, that this is over, and they screwed the whole thing up. It's causing a, they're living in a tower. Right. If you want to know what more about what that's about in general, go watch that Steve's mailbag. All right, you'll see it in the title. Why your soulmates in a tower? This is coming up a lot. I got a lot of questions in about it. It's here. Not just my readings. Everybody's readings. This tower is most. The tower is fast becoming the most popular card of mid-May. I think we're going to see it a lot. Because your, your person knows they screwed up. Because you're pretty awesome, aren't you, Virgo? I know. I see your energy. You're here. Most of you are pretty cool. A couple of you out there watching me going, what's this guy about? I don't know. I don't like this guy. A couple of you, you're the ones who thumbs down. You're like the five people that thumbs down my videos. 3,000 others thumbs them up. I'll tell you what. I love all you. I don't care. <laughs> it's not for everybody. Not for everybody, but these are this, these are real energy readings I'm giving. The cards are backing up the energy I'm reading. I don't read cards. I read energy. Cards are pretty pictures that prove what I'm feeling. Help me validate it. Help me show it to you. This person's got mad love and mad respect for you, and they know they fucked up. They do. And they're trying to find a whole bunch of different ways to come in right now. And get and start building things. I mean, look at this. I mean, I, I I feel they see you as the Empress, male or female as well. I mean, this person basically sees you as the Empress, the King of Pentacles, and the Queen of Cups. I mean, Jesus. <laughs> I don't even think Jesus would get a card pull like that. I don't think people see Jesus that that way. Honestly, I don't. I don't. I think if I was doing a personal reading for Jesus Christ Himself, those three cards wouldn't come out for how His soulmate feels about Him. I swear, that's on. That's unreal. All right, what's this judgment? Hidden energies. Oh Jesus! Christ. Are you serious, Virgo? The sun. Oh man, you make this. What you don't see is you make this person happy. What you don't see are these birds here on this judgment card. Those are about communication. The sun is the opposite of the moon. While the moon is silent, Bob, shh, don't say anything. The sun is chatty Cathy. It's about spilling it all. Yeah, 
That's what you don't see. This is the energy you don't see that's around this whole thing right now. And these cards are read together. So it's sort of like in spite of all this. In fact, in many ways, because they're thinking of different ways to come in and talk to you, in many ways this is reinforcing this. In other words, this tower is reinforcing the sun, causing even more frantic, oh my God, I, this can't be over kind of energy. Why is this sun here? Yeah, two of wands. Two of wands is about setting the intentions. Come told you what you don't see is they're setting their intentions. Obviously, I already showed it to you here with the seven of cups. Or they're trying to find ways to come in. It's also a card of leaving something behind. Your person, for some of you, if, if for some of you, if your person's in a third party, they're, they're contemplating leaving that behind. They're setting the intention to do that. It's typically a card where one, one person's holding one stick, but they've let go of the other. All right. Now, don't be dirty. I'm talking about sticks. All right, here we go. High Priestess. High Priestess. What's this High Priestess doing here? Keeping the cards close to the vest. Somebody asked me about this earlier, so I'm going to tell you again, in case you're new here. Silent Bob is a character from a movie called Clerks. You must, well, you don't have to watch it. It's from the 90s. It's from when I was in my prime in my 20s. Early 20s for most of the 90s. But I'll tell you what. Silent Bob... It's just that. He don't have no lines. He's silent. Jay, his partner, does all the talking. This is Jay right here. The sun. The moon is silent, Bob. All these moons. Shh. Don't tell Virgo. What's this high priestess? <laughs> the hierophant. Yeah. Well, this is two meanings. All right. One, they, they see their intuition is screaming at your person that this is a spiritual connection. This is an important connection. Okay. And it also shows that they have mad respect for you. But it also tells me that for those of you in a third party situation, if, if you're one of those people, uh, your person is setting the intention to leave a long term commitment. All right. Their intuition, however, for all of you, is screaming at them that you, your, that their connection with you is spiritual and it's the real deal and you're the one. Why is this Hierophant here? <laughs> this is this whole reading. I wish I could title this reading out there on YouTube. Virgo energies update. Holy shit! The world came back again. That's the third time we've seen the world. The third time. Go ahead and rewind if you don't believe me. Back at the beginning. The world. We This reading ends. This is a powerful reading and I'm going to tell you why. Because there's a, there's a 1 in 370,000 chance that a card comes out in any given position. All right, And I know the energies I'm reading. I'm trying to convey the emotion to you in words. And I can't find the words to convey the emotion that's here. Especially all this shit. All right, and this shit. <laughs> this awesome shit over here. To have a reading end where it began is mind blowing. That tells me that you're both on both energies. Both of you are like right here. It's all on the surface right now. In other words, it's about to come up out of the water, right? Like a fish that's about to jump that you got on the hook. This sucker's about to jump right in your bass boat. I'm telling you right now world this reading ends with one cycle ending and another cycle beginning this is better than if the eight of wands fell here if the eight of wands fell here it would have been like okay they're going to reach out to you they're going to communicate but it's minor arcana and the, your person's free will has been a bit questionable i think you'll all agree with me on that this is happening okay when the world as a rule of thumb in tarot, and this is something a lot of people know, when the world clarifies a major arcana, okay, it means that that's what's going, it, it means it's going to happen. Technically, when it clarifies any card, it means it's going to happen. But when it clarifies a major arcana, it gets energized. This is clarifying two major arcanas. This tells me that all this is going to come to pass. So what I the way I can read this right here is to, do, to give you the energy is their intuition is forcing them into, for some of you, letting go of a long-term commitment to come towards you. 
for all of you. Their intuition is alerting them that this is a spiritual connection and they will come towards you. They will re realize that. They will come towards you. I think they've already realized it. I feel it here. That's what this tower is about. This is some wicked shit. All right. Let's pull some, ener let's pull some universe cards. Technically, they're energy cards, but I almost said energy cards. But let's pull some universe cards. Let's not forget this whole read started with a ladybug on my finger. I mean, come on. Where else are you going to get that but Steve's love tarot? Right? Next time, maybe I'll bring in a tiger or something. You know, I don't know. You never know what you're going to get when you turn on a video here. I might have a tiger on the tiger cub on the table. Little, I don't know. Like Jack Hanna up in here. All right? Joan Embry on the old Johnny Carson. She used to show up with animals all the time. I'll tell you what. All right, here we go. All right. Universe, we always pull from the bottom first. Your person's going to reach out. Page of, page of Wands, Passionate Communication. Why? It's clarified by the King of Swords. For most of you, they're cutting something out of their life that no longer suits them. For all of you, they're making a plan and they're going forward with it. Uh, however, I don't expect, while this is Passionate Communication, I think they're going to temper it a bit. Now, for those, now for those of you where they're, leaving, where they're cutting something else out of their life, it doesn't have to be a spouse. It could be uh, a way of thinking. This, this connection obviously rattled your person. I mean, there's a lot of love over here on this side. And on this side, there's a lot of worry that they're going to miss out on that. And on this side, right here in the middle, there's a lot of planning about, oh, shit, what am I going to do? Uh, I've got, got to get Virgo's attention. All right. And over here in the hidden energies, there's also a lot of planning and things that need to be taken care of on their end. And the final outcome is telling us, yeah, they're coming. No, nope, no problem. I got the star, a delayed wish a delayed gratification all right it's also a card of manifesting it's also a card of divine timing and why is the timing so divine right now you might ask go ahead and ask steve why is the timing so divine right now because the five of cups because something's either ending on your person's side or they feel this is ending this ten of swords is tied look at the color it's pretty much the damn same all right they got a lot of regret. And what we feel, I feel, we feel, I feel that regret right here. And they're really thinking about it. This is, like I said, this whole top row is just, I fucked up. You know, someone fucked up. Someone missed out on something great. Next message out from the universe. They want three of pentacles. They want to build a foundation with you. Eight of swords. They're all up in their head about it. Five of pentacles. They feel left out in the cold. Eight of Cups, they're afraid you've walked away. Nine of Wands, they're afraid whether or not, they don't know whether or not you'll talk to them. This is intuitive reading at its best right here, what you're witnessing. I'm just pulling the first thing. I pull the card, and I, I say the first thing that comes out, comes into my intuition. Four of Cups, again, they're afraid, that, they're afraid you're going to put up a wall. They're afraid you're not going to accept their cup of love. They're going to come towards you anyway with the Chariot. And because karma is balancing here. And also, I feel very strongly your person suffered some karma on their end from not coming towards you in the first place. And one of the problems was this Queen of Wands, they were wearing a mask. They were being fake. They, they weren't telling you their feelings. They were showing you one thing, but feeling another thing. Lies, lies, lies. The lies we tell ourselves. And that, Virgo, is what's what. In the extended reading, which I sure is, fuck am going to do because I want to see it. This is wow. All right. An extended reading. We're going to open with a tiger cub straight up. It's going to happen. And right here, we're going to look at this tower. We're going to look at all this energy right here. See what they're worried about, why they're worried about it. See how they fucked up. All right. And we're going to look at this and uh, how they feel about you and all of that. And we're going to see what actions they're going to take towards you specifically and get you some advice as to what you could do or what you should do or whatever. So if you want the extended reading, it, the link is in the description of this video. I'll tell you what, I might click it myself, even though I'm the guy who's making it. I'll rent my own damn one. I, I, this is incredible reading. It really is. 
It really is. I can't wait. I'm, I'm going to go do the extended right now. I can't, first thing we're going to look at in there is the tower once, once I show you the tiger cub and, or, and talk about it. All right. Uh, if you like this reading, I hope this reading was helpful. If you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate all you subscribers. It really helps me out a lot. All right, Virgo. I'm going to go do your extended now. Link will be in the description.